Hey guys, what's up? Courtney here, back with another day in the life of my doggy video. <laughs> so y'all really enjoyed this video last time, so I figured I could make another one, hopefully make y'all smile again. Um, so as per always, we start the day off going for a little walk outside. Now, Atlas has been being a little stubborn and he hasn't been wanting to listen to me when I tell him, you know, come here or don't go over there. And I get really worried about him because there's snakes around and, you know, we live in the country. So I've been walking him on a leash recently. That way I can just control where he goes because he's a little stubborn little toot for sure. <laughs> I just love his little face so much. He just gives me <laughs> some of the most serious looks and it's just the funniest thing. It's like, he doesn't have to say a word, but I know exactly what he's saying all the time. <laughs> so yeah, then it's about that time that I had to run some errands. So I asked him if he wanted to go for a ride and he's always just so happy to go for a ride. He didn't jump that much this time, but usually he's just jumping and jumping and jumping. I think he knew that I was recording him, <laughs> so he's trying to be like nonchalant and cool about it. <laughs> then of course, as per always, he has to take his moo-moos everywhere he goes. He loves moo-moos. And even though it's his nighttime toy, he sometimes will take it with us when we go on a ride. Um, and I was cracking up at him in this part because he kept leaving his moo-moos there and I would tell him to get it. He'd run back and get it for like a second then leave it there again. And he's just like a child. Like he, <laughs> he kept leaving it and I'm just like, I'm not gonna pick up your moo-moos for you. Get your moo-moos if you wanna go for a ride, so. <laughs> That's what we're doing in this bar and it was it was a good like three minute thing. <laughs> And then at this point, we go ahead and we take off to go for a little puppy ride. I had to go to the grocery store to pick some stuff up for dinner. So he came along with me. And it was funny because this ride in particular, usually he goes from window to window, but this time he decided to stay in one window the entire time. So I don't know, it's funny. Like I always wonder like what he's most interested in looking at, you know, if he's looking at the trees or if he's smelling stuff, like what it is that's intriguing him. But he was all about the right side of my car in this one, which <laughs> worked out for me because I could record him that way. So <laughs> Around this time, I was about to go into the store, and don't worry, 
Uh, my car has this thing where I can just leave the car on and the AC is on the entire time I'm in there, so he is a-okay. <laughs> but I always get the sweetest shuggies when I'm fixing to go into a store because it's like he just doesn't want me to leave. He just has the biggest puppy heart. <laughs> And then I had to go into Lowe's for a few things and it is my favorite place to take Atlas is like Lowe's or Home Depot because first of all they're allowed in there and second of all he gets so much attention in these places. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And then we finally made it back home and when we got home he was ready to go inside. Um, like I said, he's just like a kid. He's ready to like eat and take a nap now. Like he's like had his fill and now he needs like a nap. <laughs> And so I go ahead and I get his food ready. Um, if you're interested in what he eats, he actually eats Fresh Pet. Um, I've been using this food for a really long time and it's gotten rid of his allergies. Um, it's gotten rid of his tear stains. He literally will not eat anything else now. I tried to give him some eggs the other day because I had ran out of his food and he wanted nothing to do with it. So he is spoiled and he's now snooty as well <laughs> so but he loves it and that makes me happy because you know when you think about how much money we spend on random stuff I don't mind spending a little bit extra for food that he loves to eat. I decided to do a little doggy ASMR for y'all here with him eating so y'all enjoy. <laughs> Then because he ate all his food and he is the bestest boy in the world, I decided to give him a snacky and <laughs> give you all some more doggy ASMR. <laughs> And these are some of Atlas's favorite um, rawhides. They're not actually rawhides, they're um, rawhide free. Um, he is obsessed with them. I try not to give him rawhide because it can actually be pretty bad for your dog's stomach because they can't digest it. Um, so yeah, that's what he's chewing on now. Um, they're called pork chomps. And once again, this is my final and last doggy ASMR for y'all. <laughs>
I just love when he does this. He will, I will hear like woof, woof when I'm like in another room and I always know he's in there and he's doing this. It's like he's like just like playing with himself. <laughs> And then I caught him sitting on my table staring at probably a squirrel and yeah. <laughs> and this is pretty much Atlas's day, a day in Atlas's life. I hope you all enjoyed you guys. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe, especially if you like Atlas. And as always, have a great day you guys.